Welcome to the second tutorial in the Performance Management Appraisal System series. I'm your presenter, Constable Rashima Gordon. In this tutorial, we will review the purpose, scope, and function of the PMS and take a look at the roles and responsibilities of the integral players of the policy. The purpose of the Performance Management Appraisal System policy is to establish and maintain an equitable and transparent performance-based appraisal system which aligns every member's performance to the organization's objectives. The scope of the policy applies to all sworn and unsworn members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and its function is to be a guide for the evaluation of members in the planning, development, coaching, rating, and monitoring of performance on a continuous basis. The PMAS will ultimately be piloted by managers and supervisors in various areas, branches, divisions, and formations. As such, these individuals must be trained in key management competences such as work plan development, coaching, mentoring, mediation, giving and receiving feedback, counseling techniques, and conducting performance appraisals. The integral departments and players of the PMAS are the Human Resource Management Divisional Headquarters, Area Human Resource Directors, Commanding Officers, Branch or Divisional Administrative Officers, Reviewing Officers, Appraisers, and Appraisees. Let us take a look at the role of each department or individual in the process. The Human Resource Divisional Headquarters is responsible for preparing a list of all staff members to be appraised based on an established appraisal cycle and distribute to appropriate area human resource directors. Maintaining the currency of the list in light of promotions, transfers and any other changes and developing and ensuring that job descriptions are prepared and maintained. They also ensure the monitoring and evaluation of the implementation of the PMAS policy and liaise with the Inspectorate of Constabulary and Research Planning and Legal Services branch to ensure compliance. They establish a help desk for the first year of the implementation of the new system to facilitate ease of implementation. The desk will operate from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Human Resource Headquarters is also responsible for providing support and guidance to the supervisors or managers and other members of staff relating to the process of the performance management and appraisal system, developing an integrated database and providing support, ensuring the updating, storage, and safekeeping of all appraisal forms and personal files for the prescribed period of seven years. The Area Human Resource Director is responsible for disseminating the lists of persons to be appraised at the commencement of each appraisal cycle to the commanding officer of the respective divisions or formations. Monitoring returns to ensure that the evaluations are completed in a timely manner and conducted in adherence to the policy procedures. Submitting the original performance appraisal abstract within 10 working days of receipt to the Human Resource Headquarters, which must be affixed to the appraisee's personal file and a copy retained on file. And finally, is responsible for uploading final appraisal documents to the central database. Now let's take a look at the role of the appraisee and the appraisal. The appraisee, who is an employee whose progress and performance is a subject of appraisal, whether sworn or unsworn, must participate in the appraisal process and abide by the policy guidelines, has a contractual obligation to the organization to perform at a satisfactory level and thereby contribute to the overall success of the organization and is required to maintain log notes and any other documentation that will support the appraisal process. The appraisee also has a responsibility to seek clarification on any points not fully understood regarding the planning, monitoring, and appraisal process. And finally, 
has responsibility towards his or her personal growth and professional development through continuous skills training and improvement in knowledge. The appraisal, who is the immediate supervisor or manager tasked to evaluate his or her subordinate on their work performance, is responsible for conducting a meeting with the appraisee or employee at the commencement of the performance appraisal cycle to discuss job descriptions and develop individual work plans, ensuring that job descriptions, work plans and interim appraisals are retained locally and must provide access of these to the appropriate authority for inspection. Conducting three interim appraisals in the appraisal cycle in which evidence must be kept for final appraisal. Ensuring that a final appraisal interview is conducted and an appraisal report completed for each member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and its auxiliaries. And ensuring that the completed appraisal form along with supportive documents are submitted to the reviewing officer and a copy given to the appraisee who may review and comment. Now let's take a look at the roles and responsibilities of the reviewing, administrative, and commanding officers. The reviewing officer, who is a supervisor or line manager of the appraiser and appraisee, ensures that the appraisal process was carried out in adherence to the PMS policy and also has a responsibility to ensure that the appraisals are fair and performance-based and resolve any disagreement which may result from the process. At no time should the reviewing officer act as the appraiser simultaneously. Administrative officers' responsibilities are to notify appraisers of persons to be appraised in the given cycle and ensure job descriptions are up to date. Ensure the individual work programs are developed and approved. Ensure that the appraiser and appraisee have access to the required forms to facilitate the appraisal process. Administrative officers are also to assist with the identification of training or welfare needs and ensure that these are addressed locally where possible or submitted to training branch for further action. Ensure that a final appraisal and three interim performance reviews are completed for each staff member and submitted in a timely manner in accordance with the PMS policy. Maintain a local file for all personnel which should include current job descriptions, current and previous work plans, interim appraisals, and a copy of the final appraisal. And to prepare abstracts and submit to the area human resource along with completed final appraisal forms. The commanding officer ensures that all appraisals are carried out in accordance with the PMAS policy ensures that recommendations for improvement in performance are addressed and monitors and provides oversight of the appraisal process. Now we will look at the corporate and special services branch's responsibility. They are responsible for providing strategic oversight and guidance to all formations and ensure that the policy maintains its objectivity and relevance in a changing environment implementing and maintaining an accountability framework for the PMAS and ensure that appraisal for members are done periodically. Updating the Police High Command on the status of the implementation and monitoring of the performance management and appraisal system. Ensuring that all required ICT systems are in place to support the administration of the performance management and appraisal system. The Inspectorate of Constabulary monitors the organization's appraisal system in order to ensure that it remains objective, relevant, and performance-driven, conducts investigations where breaches of the payments policy is reported, and conducts periodic audits of the PMAS. The Administration Branch will liaise with the Human Resource Division and the Training Branch to ensure the welfare, training, promotional and developmental issues are identified and addressed. Mm -hmm. 
On behalf of the Research Planning and Legal Services Branch, the Human Resource Department, and the Constabulary Communication Network, thanks for viewing. I'm your presenter, Constable Rashimo Gordon.